actually not a question just an observation a comment see i'm from uh, the wikipedians of goa users group uh, which is one of the smallest in terms of area that we are part of and it's uh, we have all the problems associated with small small groups okay i can give you a textbook uh, case study of what goes wrong with small groups the basic thing boils down to one fact that is a uh, lack of critical mass it's which is very difficult to build up see we have no problem when it comes to media we 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 get a lot of uh, space and coverage and all kinds of things okay uh we for example had one project where we had decided to cover uh, wikipedia pages on english wikipedia for every village in goa because goa is a small place they have only 380 odd villages so we get the publicity we get the publicity for any number of projects that's not the problem the problem is when you get publicity and the work doesn't get completed you feel like a fake okay so it is uh, we we've had a lot of problems from the time uh, kokni we have okay you know the kokni wikipedia english english is not so difficult because there are all kinds of people contributing to the english wikipedia on goa our agenda as a user group is is uh, to promote uh, goa as such including kokni but not only one language so uh, english we don't have a problem but kokni we have a problem because there's no critical mass and ev- all efforts that have been tried so far have not worked including sending in people from bangalore held, ha, holding a uh, day long or two day or three day workshops and you know so it starts off very well but it ends up with without contributions people are more caught up with uh, getting showing a good result on paper for example that so many edits were done and things like that but at the end of the day the wikipedia the resultant wikipedia is not usable and then we have our own complications of five different scripts for the language and you know all those kind of complications but it boils down to a lack of critical mass if you want to to get more diversity linguistic diversity i would suggest you please give more attention to the small languages uh, the approaches so far which have been tried have not worked they have not worked even the ngo model where you present good reports and it looks fantastic on paper we will be only fooling ourselves that's my point I do realize um, that you know th- the critical mass is definitely a big issue, especially for some of the small languages, uh, um, and that is more of an issue if you are trying to work with Wikipedia, because Wikipedia needs that constant updating, and it uh, you know it uh, because otherwise what's the point of Wikipedia if the last edit made to um, an article was 15 years ago? That's like a traditional encyclopedia, right? um and it needs to continue improving and um uh you know it needs to continue growing i think uh, and it uh, and this problem of having wikipedia uh, as the center and you know as an ideal that every language should have a wikipedia i think that is also causing um a lot of these challenges uh, so perhaps uh, you know 7000 languages in the world but not all of those languages would need a wikipedia people we are not living in isolated languages people might use one language for education and another language for their uh, you know for uh, for things related to directly to their culture and that's the reality uh, in an ideal situation yes we should have all our wikipedia but considering the reality i think we, sh- we should also focus on what is the most meaningful thing we can do in language x today is it creating a dictionary or helping them uh bring uh the 1000 or 2000 most used words online or proverbs or documenting their oral knowledge what is it that's most critical for that community and those kind of things you know what if you create a dictionary of 2000 words you don't then need to continue in a way that you know that it will get stale that in itself will be useful if you bring uh 1000 uh songs uh or folk tales from a from a culture that doesn't have a lot of representation you do some um focus efforts for let's say a couple of years and you get people there if there is a vibrant community afterwards that's great but even if there isn't you still have those artifacts that you created which can be then used on again and again by the communities and they don't get stale so i think it's 
that is also something that we need to look into and i'm not by saying this i'm not saying that we should stop working on wikipedia we definitely need wikipedia but we need to think or rethink what language at what point does it need what project uh, or what kind of content and maybe then we start forming a, a strategy around this thank you uh, so if i would like to um, i think every i definitely believe every language should have a wikipedia uh, but i understand slowly when uh, we start speaking uh, when sadeep continued speaking uh, i clearly understand the idea here um, what, what sadeep sadeep is speaking about is a, is a bit of a strategy how we deal with this problem so there is a problem that is about critical mass critical mass is problem for most of the indian languages uh, because of the way that we deal with these languages and language politics that are also going right now and many other factors which are not in our, not in our control uh, so i would like to just reframe what sadeep told many languages have different kinds of challenges and opportunities and uh, wiki wikimedia movement can be an opportunity for those language challenges if this is an opportunity for the for their challenges then they those communities language communities would embrace this wikipedia uh sorry wiki media project so for example uh for example telugu do have a problem uh that problem is uh, some of the folk art forms not even folk some of the mainstream art forms are like dying so uh, we love cinema but uh, uh, many cinemas before 1949 were like already lost there are no prints nothing is available right now so for example think of it like this uh, and many of them are not accessible they are in somewhere in uh, i don't know what like film corporations uh, or else some kind of archives they are not available right now but there is a beautiful project which which is called indian cine dot ma indian cine dot ma preserves the lit- literature around the films all over the indian languages and also preserves those uh, films especially which are like uh, copyright free uh, in their website so this indian cine dot ma is catering to a specific need here and then indian cine dot ma is of, of course embraced by many of the film studies enthusiasts like myself so for example what if telugu wiki source start doing that so telugu wiki what if telugu wiki source has a project which says that okay i am going to digitize all the telugu film song books there are song books in telugu films so it has story it has details about all technicians it has all songs so for example what if people start uh, preserving all those song books in telugu wiki source uh, until copyright lapse period and say that here see we are going to do this then there can be a community community that is interested in doing such kind of things and then we can st- slowly start building something from there so i think sadeep is speaking about that so if we take another example in other language so if we take an example from endangered languages so those for those languages i am i don't know the culture and i don't know the situation but i assume creating audio repository of how a word is spoken and creating wiki data entries for each of those words i don't know how it is done i don't know if that is the right thing to do but i'm just thinking out loud that would be a seriously very great addition to what that language is currently facing through so i think sadeep is saying that we should identify start identify those things in our languages and we should start working towards that i i don't preach this but i just want to rephrase what i think sadeep is going to say here so does that make any sense frederick sir yeah 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 i mean uh, see i'm not accepting the idea of a hierarchy of languages but uh, what you are suggesting is interesting and uh, maybe we need to look at the smaller end of the scale also just that thanks thank you again so relevance to this call 
there are people who would support you if you start doing this and i just got this idea of digitizing those song books and i am not going to leave that idea i will be doing that <laughs> so any more questions ideas thoughts around this just make sure they are really out of copyright before you start working yeah or or, or i i wanted to talk that you know sometimes because we are part we are all wikimedians sometimes uh, we we only think about projects within the wikimedia movement uh, you know uh, but something that we are passionate about which uh, i have an example of om shri prakash uh, a wikimedian and language enthusiast uh, uh, but then the work he started he started engaging more into about digitization and um, and now he's not directly working with wikipedia or wikimedia movement as of now it is working on digitization front and see and he's working with internet archive what he he thinks is for him and the work that he's doing is the best approach for now like in and 10 years later he might say that okay now that i've built this archive uh, and i've digitized uh, uh, 100000 books uh, 1 lakh books now i want to start working on transcribing them on wiki source and bringing them on our platforms and uh, you know again our platforms are more serious about copyrights and in, uh, internet archive not so much uh so just that you know uh is thinking about um uh, that there can be projects as you also mentioned you know outside of the media movement as well which is completely fine you just have to be passionate about it yeah so project is a project and wikimedia movement can be part of it that also can be a opportunity and then we will definitely build a very good community which is not there right out there so these are ideas we need to see how it happens yeah any other questions to people out there or is any other thoughts about whatever discussed hello yeah this is sushila hello am i audible to you are audible madam go ahead yeah uh, yes sir i wanted to to know a little about the can you tell me this project and uh, is it that there is a possibility of digitizing old books suppose if they are out of copyright or someone is having them suppose if they want to donate uh, means it will not be in any fiscally viable condition in that case is there any uh, possibility of digitizing this uh, in this wikipedia project because this, there are two aspects one is taking the digitized text and proofreading and transcribing that is one way of it uh, is so and the second thing is getting the digitized text into wiki so that is one way is uploading the digitized document and the digitization process is also included in this suppose we have some books can we send them for digitization in this project it's a bit can we respond yeah, yeah so we uh, have it okay yeah yeah so um about the uh, you know digitization is definitely something that a community can focus on and do it um the only thing when doing the innovation <coughs> with wikimedia movement or using wikimedia funds uh, we have to be really mindful of the copyright status like right? works should be out of copyright <coughs> only then we support the digitization and uh, i think what i heard is when you said when you said sending books for digitization there is no uh, you know wikimedia foundation or uh, or another like that organization which where you can send them and they'll do it there are there are we can identify there are some people or partners within india who might be interested in doing it but currently we don't have a a set mechanism on uh, on how and where to send it and who will do it but if if a community wants to do it and wants to Uh, get funding for that and even equipment those are viable projects and you just need to demonstrate how useful it is going to be and people are actually going to use the digitization on you know for further uh, reuse of wikisource and all if that is part of the plan 
then you can very very uh, much uh, get funding and uh, apply with that project okay. thank you and another thing is can you just sh share the document you were mentioning that it is available and um, in your project that is uh, regarding uh, handling the manuscript and how to preserve them now some some 60 pages document you said yeah, yeah so you that can you please share that so that uh, because many people keep asking about some uh, relevant document meetings should be there something worked out and it's uh, tested one well. So I want to have that information because many keep asking about it. So I can have that. Yeah. So um, I'll be happy to share it once uh, once uh, we are finalized with it. It is still being proofread. It's being finalized. So by the end of uh, August, we'll have the final version. And once I have it, I can share it in the in the Telegram group. So if you you like to. Um, you know, I can share my email. If you if you can send me an email, then I'll make sure to yeah, send it directly to you. Okay, so yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll I'll share it. We'll we'll yeah, we'll write a tip post about yeah, it as well. It's useful not only to individuals and individual librarians and the publishers. It will be helpful even to the libraries with the modern techniques and all this. Okay, thank you. Then. I just want to chip in and uh, give a little more con uh, idea about how to go about it. Uh, thanks for bringing this up, Susila Garu. Um, uh, regarding sending out these books, there is no set mechanism as uh, Sadeep uh, told right now, but uh, uh, we have someone called Subodh Kulkarni, our partnerships, uh, of, uh, senior partnerships officer in uh, CSA 2 k uh, Subodh is uh, doing a lot of partnerships around uh, digitization, scanning of the books with libraries and he is dealing with a lot of libraries in especially in West Zone of India and uh, he is now like A2K has a plan to expand uh, these uh, successful partnerships to other parts of the India. So this is a very interesting conversation that Subodh can have. Uh, I'm dropping his uh, melody here. Please try it with him. You can yeah. also later discuss it with him. With, with him. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Santosh. And there is one more thing uh, that I have been contemplating is uh, each language, uh, Wikipedia, maybe they are uh, working on the wiki source very well and uh, trying to preserve the uh, heritage, the culture, the which has come uh, over the periods through books. So they are trying to preserve it. In that case, at least one center, right, center or some uh, identified person should be, or identified organization should be there for each one, one center, at least for each language we keep in there. Or at least at the India level, one should be center will can be better. Like you told some contact at one center. Thank you. This is uh, a better one because what you have already acquired through uh, in the wiki source may not be because it's an ongoing process. Many things will come out and next year some more will come because they, they will become out of copyright next year. So they keep say an ongoing process getting through some books and all some documents or some whatever it may be something to be archived. In wiki source. In that case, it will be helpful to have a central point to, to take up for the digitization. This is what I felt uh, some need is there. Thank you. So this is very helpful feedback. Uh, I just want I just dropped another link, which is like an ambitious project that uh, CSA to is trying attempting to work uh, on. Uh, it says. It says national digitization program. So go through that and give us a feedback, and we are happy to uh, take these things forward. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Suyashi, you have something to say? Yeah, actually, I know there is very limited time left, but I just wanted to extend what Sushila Ji had addressed. Sometimes, what I personally feel that. Uh, after this particular call, call this is very interesting, especially for the digitizing, digitization thing. 
I I I hope that there are, there are so many persons who are interested in doing that. But sometimes what happens that uh, people are interested in individual capacity, but uh, either their community don't understand the uh, required need of this project. So what about those persons who want to do this project in individual capacity rather than you know uh, finding people in the community and the meeting and no and series of discussion discussions on their village village camp and every blah 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 so it, sometime it uh, it uh, it takes very very uh, very long time and uh, uh, there are also chances that uh, the person who initiated this discussion who lose who might lose their uh, interest so what about uh, again so what about those persons who want to start this project individual capacity is it possible sir this i would let someone else answer this like this is a more general question not just digitization since i've been speaking a lot this is a question that is relevant to community grants team or something but we don't have someone representing the team so sorry we could not answer this question but question was noted no come on i think this is still a question you know for this us all, all of us as we work with the community it's a larger question larger not question. just grant not, not just a grant thing not just but grant just, thing, but it is also about community uh, health so it is also about a lot of things but uh, uh, simple answer is we don't have an answer Oh, okay the difficult answer <laughs> oh, or, as or as i will just as i will just we could think about these things that's yeah yeah mental definitely worth thinking i i think i'll just open it up if, you know praveen mithu or manav would have any thoughts on this or rachit um cuz you know, you've also worked with communities in different ways and also uh, some of you have seen how it's difficult to collaborate with people as well uh you know the question that thing raised was you know if you have any thoughts on on how to navigate this tricky situation maybe we can speak in the next three minutes चलो ठीक है बहुत सिंपल था कई बार क्या होता है जैसे ये इंटरेस्टिंग कई प्रोजेक्ट होते हैं जिसमें इंडिविजुअल कैपेसिटी में जैसे लोग चाहते हैं कि उसमें इन्वॉल्व हो इन्वॉल्व हो जी लेकिन प्रॉब्लम ये होता है कि कई बार कई प्रोजेक्ट्स में ये रिक्वायरमेंट होती है कि आपकी कम्युनिटी इन्वॉल्व है कि नहीं तो जो बंदा किसी अच्छे प्रोजेक्ट को तो देखता है और उसे लगता है कि हाँ फिलहाल कम्युनिटी के दिमाग में ये चीज़ नहीं आ रही है पर उसे लगता है कि हाँ इस तरीके के प्रोजेक्ट्स हों तो वो कम्युनिटी के ग्रोथ में या एक नए चैप्टर को जोड़ने में हेल्पफुल होगा तो उसके लिए वो मेहनत करता है बट उसके पास में समझ रहे हैं वर्किंग लोग हैंड्स या कह लें वो उस तरीके के लाइक uh, माइंडेड like लोग नहीं होते हैं <laughs> तो बजाय इसके कि वो बंदा जाए और उसके बाद कम्युनिटी को तो मनाए कि देखिए एक अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट है ना केवल उसमें समय लगता है बट जो बंदा स्टार्ट कर रहा है इस प्रोजेक्ट को जिस इंटरेस्ट ले रहा है उसका इंटरेस्ट भी लूज होने के लिए के चांसेस होते हैं तो मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि क्या ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट को जिनमें कम्युनिटी की रिक्वायरमेंट हो सकती है बट क्या एज अ इंडिविजुअल कोई बंदा प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट कर सकता है और उसमें फाउंडेशन कैसे सपोर्ट कर सकती है सो बहुत ही सिंपल क्वेश्चन है बट आई थिंक सबसे पहला यू नो चेक पॉइंट जो होगा वो ये होगा कि कम्युनिटी से डिस्कस करना क्या वो प्रायरिटी में है कितने कम्युनिटी के मेंबर्स हैं जो जिनको लगता है कि ये प्रोजेक्ट यू नो इम्पॉर्टेंट हो सकता है और साथ में कोलाबरेट करना चाहता है ये सबसे पहला स्टेप होना चाहिए कहीं पे भी किसी भी प्रोजेक्ट के लिए हाउ अगर आपको लगता है कि यू नो वो एक्सपर्टीज नहीं है एग्जिस्टिंग यू नो ग्रुप में प्रॉबेबली इसके लिए कुछ ऐसी एक्सपर्टीज चाहिए होगी जहाँ पे यू नो आपको बंदे 
आउट कम्युनिटी के बाहर से बंदे यू नो ढूंढने पड़ेंगे और प्रॉब्लम इनको ट्रेनिंग देनी पड़ेगी देन इन दैट केस आई थिंक अगर उस प्रोजेक्ट में पोटेंशियल है तो आई थिंक यू नो एज ए साइड हम लोग सभी अवेलेबल हैं एंड वी शुड डिस्कस इट फर्दर कि इसको कैसे यू नो एक्सपैंड किया जा सके देर आर डिफरेंट कम्युनिटीज जो इस चीज में इन्वेस्टेड होती हैं वी कैन रीच आउट टू डेम और उनका सपोर्ट सीख कर सकते हैं प्लस ऑल्सो एट द सेम टाइम ये कम्युनिटी कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग और साथ ही साथ कम्युनिटी एक्सपेंशन में भी हेल्प करता है बिकॉज यू आर रीडिंग रीचिंग आउट टू द न्यू सेट ऑफ पीपल राइट आप उनको ट्रेनिंग भी दे रहे हो आप उनको इस इस प्रोजेक्ट से जोड़ भी रहे हो तो आई थिंक मेरा टू अप्रोच यू नो रहेगा इसमें पहला विद इन कम्युनिटीज चेक करें एंड यू कैन रीच आउट टू फाउंडेशन एनी टाइम और आस यू नो इन जनरल दूसरा इज इफ देर इज अ पोटेंशियल और अदर कम्युनिटीज में वो एक्सपर्टीज नहीं मिल रहा सपोर्ट नहीं मिल रहा है स्टिल वी यू रीच आउट सो दैट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई यू नो कि इसका स्कोप क्या है एंड देन आफ्टर स्कोपिंग द प्रोजेक्ट वी कैन फाइंड आइडेंटिफाई यू नो वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई प्रोस्पेक्टिव पार्टनर्स एंड कोलेबरेटर्स फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट होप दैट आंसर इज दी Thank you. So, thank you for answering that question, Praveen ji. Um, I'm going back to Nitesh and handing or handing the call over to him. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so, so yes, we already crossed one minute. So, yeah, uh, thank you so much, uh, Praveen, Sadiq, Mandi, and Pitu for sharing uh, insights into your work and. how it relates uh, to indian community so and you already got a lot of questions as well so yeah uh, i think that call went really well and while we had some knowledge about your work uh, before uh, today's session has provided us with uh, better clarity i can say and once again thank you for your valuable contribution and we uh, eagerly uh, anticipate uh, future collaboration and thank you so much and thank you pavan for for participation so before we conclude i would uh, like to make an announcement regarding uh, the next indic community engagement call with leadership development working group this call is scheduled for 5 or 5th august so during this meeting we will hear about leadership and its importance from leadership working group So yes, that's it from my end. Looking forward to having you all with us in next session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good night.